Hello and welcome back to Excel Mind. Today, we're going to learn how to create dynamic dashboard in Excel. You can create the dashboard with click button and interactive charts, which includes speedometer. This tutorial will be in three parts, divided in three videos. In first we'll learn how to create speedometer. In second part it will be on circle speed meter. As shown on screen and, in last, third we'll learn how to create click button through pivot. So, let's start our tutorial. We already had our dummy data ready in new sheet. To create, speedometer, you need to have two details on your sheet as shown on screen. First, speedometer category. Second, needle range which is most important. You can find the detail of this under link added in description. Now we'll create our speedometer chart. And to do so, go to Insert and Under Chart section. Click on Pi icon. And click Down at. Your chart plot area has been created. Now next is to add data and to add that. Right click on mouse keeping you chart area selected. And click select data, a new window will pop up. Now, click on add button and name the range as per you wish. We added the name as speedometer. Under series value, we need to add numbers so that our meter gets divided into two parts. First will be average of range and other half should be blank. As we want to divide our meter in two half. So, our first half will be 50, 25, 10, 15, 100. 50 for bad, 25 for average, 10 for good, 15 for excellent and as this total 100 so next black part will be same which is 100. Click on OK once your numbers have correctly been added. You can see our chart has been created on background so once you satisfied with it click OK. As you card is ready now just delete the not required section. And to delete label click on plus sign. And uncheck which is not required. Now we need to rotate our chart so that major section should move down. To do so, click on chart and select, and right click then select format data. New window should pop up on right side. Now under series option, change the angle, default will be 0 degree. And we need to rotate it till 270 degrees to get the correct side up. You can type 270 degree to get it corrected. Once done, click anywhere on screen and your chart will be on correct direction. Don't make any changes to Donut Explosion option, keep it to default which is zero. Now to move to Donut Hole Size and reduce it to 60 so that out meter looks perfect. Once done our next step will be to remove the down half of circle. And to do show select only down half. And go to fill option, and under fill, click on no fill. And do the same for border.
Our half sphere is ready, and now it's time to color our meter. So, select it one by one and change the color. Make sure you change the border color too, as per the space color. We have used red, for bad. For average, we'll use amber. For good we'll go with blue. And lastly excellent, we'll select green. It's done now our speedometer graph is ready. Now let's close the right side addition tab, and let's create needle for our speedometer. And to create needle, we need repeat the same as first step. Adding data. Right click and click add select data. New window will pop up, with our existing data. So just click on add button. Under name type, needle or anything you want. Under range, Click on Select Rang and select the Rang from Sheet. Click on Select Range tab and hit OK. Make sure your both checkbox is filled. Click OK. Now you can see your needle chart is created, and the small one will be your needle. Now it's time to merger both the chart. And to merge it, click on Design, and change Chart Type. Under New Pop-up Window, click on Combo. And change the Speedometer Type to Donut. And Needle Type to Pie. Click checkbox in front of Pi, to bring the chart forward. And click OK once all done. Now our next step is to unfill the unwanted data, and to do so right click and click Format. Under New Pop-up Window click Fill. From Fill option click No Fill. From Fill option click No Fill and do the same for Border. Now click on rest smaller part of pie, and change the color to black. And do the same, for border. You can see, our needle is ready. Now it's time to get the chart back to correct degree. Change the series option to speedometer by selecting our chart. Click on Series option and change the angle to 270 degree. No do the same for needle chart. Select needle form top drop down and change the angle to 270 degree. It should match our data. As our data is at zero, so needle is at start of meter. Now you can close the right pop-up and let's check if our needle moves with our data or not. Yes, it's working fine. Now it's time to add data label, and to match that with our sheet. We need to right click on chart and click on add data label. Then right click on data, and click format data label.
Now change the speedometer data label. And if you can't find that option then close the pop-up window. Go back to Design tab and, click Change Chart Type. Click Combo if not selected. And click Checkbox, in front of Speed, Zero, Meter and click OK. Now, repeat the same step. Right-click on Chart, then Add Data Label. Right-click on Data and then Format Data Label. From drop-down, Selected Speedo Data Label. Click Lapel option and check value from cell box. Under new pop-up window, select range from sheet and hit OK. You can see our value has been added, and now we don't need this number, so just uncheck the value box. Now you can do some alignment too if need so that you value fit perfect under area. If you want, you can change the color or make is bold from home tab. Looks perfect. Now let's bring the needle back to front. Click on chart then design and hit change chart type. Under combo tab, click checkbox which is in from of needle and hit OK. And now we need needle button and to add that go insert and click on shapes. Under shapes go to flow chart section and click on connector. Create the connect by left key of mouse, at start of needle. Change the color to black from format tab. Once done, you can see your speedometer looks perfect and working fine. Now the last step, add text box which will show the result as value of meter. To add box, go to insert and click add text box. Create the box where needed by left click of mouse. Don't add anything under box, to add value go to formula tab and under that type, equal to and select the cell which include value. And hit enter. Make sure the text box background color, is no fill, you can do those changes from format tab. And to make the text, bold or to change the font, do it from home tab. Now your speedometer chart is ready. Thank you for watching Excel Mind. We'll upload second half of video soon. Keep watching. Next video will on tutorial of circle speed meter.